Right, so at long last I've got round to trying to do this next video on the Smith & Magician. Um, quick round up for those of you who may not have seen it. This was the original one I did in early 2014. It was all just laser cut and then clamped and welded. So it's all clamped and welded all the way around. Perfectly okay, works brilliantly. The only disadvantage is it does take some putting together because everything's got to be clamped, got to have shims um, to get the gaps right. So it's a little bit tricky to put together. Um, so that was the first one. The other thing I didn't mention when on the second video, something I've changed. On this one, I had a square hole in the bottom, and that was for this to go in your hardy hole. So you bolted that. Out. Whatever size your hardy hole was, you had a spigot which you could bolt in there, um, and so you wouldn't need the bolt holes or clamps or anything. You just put it in your hardy hole. Done. And I had several people say um, they didn't like that idea. They wanted to be able to move it around. So on this one, the second one, a new revision which I did in the last video, I've just put a hole in the bottom plain round hole, still use the same spigot, but you bolt it in and then you can rotate it to wherever you like. So you put it in your hardy hole, you rotate your, your anvil or your guillotine tool to wherever you want and you tighten your bolt up. So that was something I forgot to mention on the last video. The other thing I forgot to mention was this one has the option of the stop. It's purely a, a, a little piece of box section on a piece of quarter rod that slips in the side. So if you're doing sort of the same job over and over again uh, on multiple pieces of material, you can just slip your material in or you can put it in the other way around, whichever way you decide to, to put your material in, that way, whatever, up to the stop and you know you're going to get your crease or whatever you're putting in in the same spot. So that's an option on there. It's something I'm, you know, I'm not really offering because it's something so simple that you can do on your own. Um, Right, so that was the sort of a roundup of the, the original. Oh, let's get rid of that one. This was the second one that I did uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it's all slotted. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. All slots together. Makes it much easier to put together. The only trouble with this one was I made my tolerances way too tight, and I had to do a lot of filing. Um, this is why it's, it's all shiny because whilst, once I'd filed, filed all the, the little um, lugs and slots um, I decided to just run a linisher over it. Um, and also this was still quite tricky to, to set up. You needed to get it clamped right just so to drill for these holes. So I went back and revised the drawings and came up with this. Now this is how it all came. The only thing I've done to this one, as you can, I don't know if you can see, I've literally just run a sander over to take any little burrs off because you still do get some slag on these. Not an awful lot with laser cuttings, depending on how good your laser cutter is. Um, so all I've done is taken any little bits of slag off just to make it um, nice and smooth. I haven't done any filing, um, not like I did on the other one. So. We've got your nine bits, and again, like on the, the other one, because they can't cut holes um, that close and that small, I've put that little hole in there, and that is for, like I explained on the last video, punching your die out if uh, you get all um, slag going down the side of it um, and jamming it in. So anyway, see, if, see how this one goes together. Same principle as I did on the last one, if you can figure out, oh, uh, figure out which bits are which, I don't think it really matters. Um, you see these going much easier, haven't had to do anything to them. Uh, let's see. And the front one, I decided to put a couple of slots in there and some lugs so that when you're drill, trying to drill it's much much easier you just put put it in your slots 
mark your drill holes, drill them and tap them. Now then, hopefully this will. Yeah, look at that. Now if I can get it all up without dropping any bits, this should. No, it's not quite as straight. Yeah, there you go. In. So, that one is much, much easier to put together. Now, the only um, thing I'm slightly concerned about with this one, you have got, I don't know if you can see that, there is a slight, very slight movement. Now, I only increased the measurements by half a millimetre. Now, for those of you who do, do Imperial, that's probably about a 30 second or maybe less. So that's that's pretty, pretty small. But it's made a hell of a difference and it has, as I say, just given me a little bit more movement in all of these pieces. So they've all got a little bit of movement. So the only thing I'm con slightly concerned about with that is, I don't know if I've got any dies here, let's have a look, I did have some somewhere, hang on, bear with me, oh, here's some dies, so they slot in nicely but if that's clamped I'm wondering if it's going to be too tight, although clamping that actually isn't. No, either way, so I know I'm only doing it with my hand, but that's sort of pushing it in as tight both ways, and it's still got plenty of play. I dare say this top one, where you've got two lots of play, so because you've got play in this, this one and the front one. So, yeah, you see that tight so you may need to use a shim so am I causing more problems would it be easier just to file them I like this one because it's so easy to put together um, and for me clamping and using shims and getting everything square isn't really a problem I was only thinking of it for people who wanted to buy the plans get it cut and then you know stick it together who haven't got either facilities or perhaps the skills or the tools or whatever so I don't know but that's so that's mark 2 revision 1 with the bigger slots bigger lugs bigger holes actually I think I made the lugs smaller and left the holes as they were um, or was it the other way around no I think I left the lugs as they were and made the holes bigger don't know can't remember uh, anyway so that's it that's the next one I think it works quite well. I so say you just have to be careful putting it together. Whereas this other one, oh, that's where the dies are. <laughs> In the first one, this one is a lot less. Uh, there's a lot less movement. Um, I dare say once you get the clamps on it, it will tighten up a little bit. But um, I don't know. I, I guess if I just put it, the, put the lugs in this one I left them tight people could uh, file them to fit don't know anyway let me know what you think there's the the three which are much much easier oh, and the big original there you go um, I don't know. Let me know. I'm going to try and get the plans uh, made. Uh, what's the word? Put them into a p some into a PDF so you've got um, actual drawings with some measurements plus the CAD files. So if you want to go and uh, download them and cut them yourself or get them cut, then you can do that. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you on another one fairly soon. Have a good weekend.